Hello, I'm Ryan Newton, Simon CNC, and we're back on the Trow TNA 300, where as you can just see behind me, we've now got the power on. Uh, this week, we've done all the alignments, we've got aligned the XZ, Y, we've done the grid shifts, reference points, bike lash, uh, and done all the checks. Ironed out all the, all the faults from power, but i.e. setting proximity switches, uh, setting all the functions of the indexing. Everything's now set, we're running, and today we're gonna put a test program on and, and get things moving around. So I've got the program now in and the macros and I'm just going to single block and step it through uh, and hopefully we'll get to the end of cycle and then I can get it running. So we're stopping on uh, in the program, I can't get to the end of the cycle. I've got a fault, uh, call it opening, it actually physically opens, I'm losing the, the proximity switch signal so at the minute we're clamped, I've also checked the input for that and when we unclamp we'll move that, but on, on the clamping on the trail we've got two systems, in order to get the clamp light when we clamp we need also the pressure, so at the minute we've got the pressure switch but what we're not doing even though despite losing the pressure there, we ain't losing the pressure input. And it's not the wiring, it's the valve. I've just checked it across the valve, so hopefully we can get a new valve on, get up and running, and get testing on the cycle. So, 20 minutes later, a little bit of magic, and uh, we've got it working. You can change in state now, so we're, getting, we're losing the input when we lose the pressure. So hopefully we can get running again. The valve issue completed, we've now done the uh, test cycle, everything runs smoothly, I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. 